I recognize the gentlewoman from California. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I come to the floor this afternoon uh, to offer an amendment to this bill that uh, probably for most people as they were tuned in and listening to uh, the discussion and the debate of the bill um, may not have gotten too excited about it uh, because it deals with the innards of an agency. But there is this amendment, I think, is probably one of the most important parts of the bill. And I'm very pleased that the Rules Committee found it in order. This amendment goes to the heart of our democracy, and it's all about disclosure. We have the opportunity today to secure disclosure in political reporting for the voting public. There's something very sick about our system today. People across the country are deeply and profoundly upset about the undisclosed sums of money that are being poured over and through our political system. And when that happens, it goes right to the heart of democracy. Why? Because it's undisclosed. We do not know who is contributing. We don't know how much they're contributing. We don't even know if foreign countries are involved in this. And so this is really a very simple amendment. It's an amendment that adheres to the same principles that many of my colleagues, Democrats and Republicans, have supported before. And it works like this. If an organization buys political advertising time on broadcast television, on radio, on cable, or on satellite, they would be required to disclose their large donors, those who give $10,000 or more to air the ad. There is today in statute Section 315 of the Communications Act, and it's been in place since 2002, that covers issues of a national legislative issue of public importance. And it also covers legally qualified candidates or any election to federal office. So there's something already in place. The only thing that's being added to this is that if you're going to buy time, $10,000 or more, that you are required to disclose and name who yours are. Who's contributing that money? I think that this is very important. We are a democracy. We're not a, a plutocracy. And uh, what uh, uh, I hear over and over and over and over again from my constituents is the damage that Citizens United, the case that the Supreme Court rendered the decision, I think a disastrous one, two years ago. We have the jurisdiction at the Energy and Commerce Committee and this subcommittee, it is within our jurisdiction uh, to take this up in this bill. Now, uh, there is something else. Some people have said that this is burdensome. Burdensome for broadcasters. Burdensome for uh, those that uh, broadcast television. Burdensome to radio. Burdensome to cable. Burdensome to satellite. They're not the ones that have to disclose. Only those that buy the time. And the files exist today. There is one file, one file only. Now, there are other files for other responsibilities, but there's only one for political ads. Is America and our democracy not worth requiring those that want to buy the political ads to disclose who they are above $10,000, and that's it. So the law is already in place since 2002. The file is already there. There is no burden to the broadcasters, radio, TV, satellite, cable, as I said, but simply to report. Now, there are those that say that that would be burdensome that that would be burdensome as well. My question is, how heavy of a burden is it? 
How heavy of a burden, how heavy of a lift is it to report and disclose to the American people? The American people have a right to know. And once they know disclosure is a dis disinfectant, they will make up their own minds. And with that, uh, I yield back my time. The gentlelady